You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. So it's only been like roughly what uh, Rhodes about three months since Demar Hamlin collapsed on Monday Night Football. Something like that. Something we nobody had really ever seen before. Uh, at least in our lifetime, we had not seen a NFL player come this close to meeting their demise. Uh, and on top of it, it was the only game going. It was Monday Night right. Football. It, there was a lot of things that made this event nuts. I mean, it was a huge game. Bengals, Bills, both good teams, major playoff implications. You got the NFL that stepped in and did all this craziness to try to elevate the, the bills in this story. Let's be real. That's what they did. They tried yeah. to. Make no think about it, man. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl. You may look back and say this incident right here really, really helped lead the Chiefs to that Super Bowl. It, it You know, yeah. I mean, Zach Taylor and the Bengals were furious over everything that they were trying to maneuver for the Bengals. Not to mention, it almost spurred uh, a neutral site AFC championship game. Yeah. That came that close to happening. Yeah, in Atlanta, you know? when, where they were actually like, what, burning downtown or something like that at the time? Boy. Absolutely. Yeah. That was exactly during that time that that AFC championship game would have been going on. Yeah. So, yeah, this is pretty wild, man. Go go, go for it. Yeah, um, guys, um, I guess the question of when DeMar Hamlin – is actually going to return to the field. Well, that's actually been answered. And I got to be honest, I'm kind of surprised by this, this soon. Me too. Yeah, Look me here. Too. DeMar Hamlin cleared to play football. Questions remain. And it actually came, I believe, from his coach, because we had a clip here of DeMar Hamlin right there. This is actually the GM right here from the Bills official Twitter account here. Per GM Brandon uh, Bean, DeMar Hamlin has been cleared to resume football activities this fast. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's go ahead and listen into what he actually had to say here. It's only like uh, 30 seconds or so. Since then, he's seen three additional specialists, most recently on Friday. And, you know, they're all in, a, in agreement. It's not two to one or three to one or anything like that. They're all in lockstep uh, of what this was and that he is cleared, resumed full activities, just like anyone else who was coming back from an injury or whatever. So he's, he's fully cleared. He's here and he is of the mindset. He's in a great headspace to uh, come back and, and uh, make his return. So full activity, no restrictions. Full activity roads. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, it was just, it probably hasn't even been two months ago. This very same general manager, Brandon Bean, came out and made comments around, uh, surrounding the idea. You could tell he wasn't, you could tell DeMar Hamlin thought he was going to play again, but Brandon Bean was very, you could tell he was very skeptical. And I believe he did not want to commit the bills. Uh, for sure, to DeMar. Why is that? I think Bean and I'm sure leadership, Kim Pagula and, and that ownership group, you could tell it felt like they were worried about potential liability issues. Yeah. And some, people, DeMar some Hamlin. people were thinking, you know, with that DeMar Hamlin um, interview with Michael Strahan, he didn't want to actually um, – say would actually cause his cardiac arrest because of a potential lawsuit. Right, right. And that's something we really get into in the Chris Smith portion of this video that's that's part of this, and we wanted to combine them because, trust me, we talked about DeMar Hamlin a lot in that video and the lack of explanation that DeMar Hamlin gave us about what actually happened. He gave you no know, explanation. We still don't know. Remember, he ran away from it. I think we, I think they actually do have that clip here, uh, too, right here. Yeah, just in case you need a refresher. From the ICU, 
the question on so many minds, what causes heart to stop beating? When you're 24, peak physical condition, could run circles around me right now. <laughs> <laughs> How did doctor describe what happened to you? Um, um, that's something I want to stay away from. I know from my experience, the NFL. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 He wants to stay away from it. And I'm wondering, Rhodes, since um, now he's fully cleared, or. NFL players going to be kind of hesitant a little bit still to get physical with him. I mean, could it be? I mean, because we watched a guy just pretty dude, much die on the football field. Dude, he's going to get hit. I mean, he's a, he's a safety. Running backs are going to put it on him. Yep. You know, and it's it's a league where for all of the not supposed to lead with the helmet, this, that, and the other, it's it's a memo that the running backs have not received. I can right. tell you. The running backs still do the whole I'm I'm putting my head down, boom, right into your chest. And the tackle he made was a textbook tackle. There yeah, wasn't was nothing a, wrong with it. Uh, nothing wrong with it, nothing unusual, no bad form. It was a textbook play. And boom, there he was laying on the ground, people praying, wondering if we were watching an uh, NFL ball player die on the field. You know, it's yeah. it's pretty wild. I cannot believe. I'm pretty shocked he's been clear to play this soon. I really Me too. am. I thought yeah. he would actually be out. It, now, I did say that I believe he was going to play again. I think we both said that. Yeah. yeah but I, I thought, thought that he would again. probably be out for the upcoming season. He's pretty much missed nothing, really. I really thought, best case scenario, he would make some cameo appearances in some playoff games next year. But yeah. that would be about it. You know, now they're not, now he's fully cleared to play and reassume activities. We don't, we should say this, we don't necessarily know how the Buffalo Bills are going to use him. Yeah. Yet. We but don't they said, know. They that. said all three doctors. They were all in agreement. No so, so, he gets back on the field. What happens if he drops again? I mean, I don't, I don't want to be wow like a Debbie I'm, Downer or anything like yeah, that. But me, you, you remember Hank Gathers collapse. Then he actually got back onto the court. Yeah. But I believe what happened was Hank Gathers didn't want to take his medicine. And he said it was like affecting his play. And then, so I don't know what kind of medication um, um, DeMar Hamlin's on, if he has any. But, uh, yeah, we got to keep a close eye on this one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty amazing. But DeMar Hamlin's back, I guess. Yep. He is, and, he is and, back. And make no mistake, I'm glad the kid's playing again. You know, I am. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. I'm, good. I, I'm glad. I, you know, is. I wish he would have answered all the pertinent questions that I feel yeah. like are important. I think he let a lot of people down by not answering um, those questions right there. And especially in light of how many die suddenly videos have we done? I lost count. I lost count, man. That's not normal. Yeah, not normal. But I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, anything else to add to this, Rhodes? Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Peace, we're out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.